In order to create a colored zone map, you need to have first used the zoning command to assign a zone number to the selected sprinkler symbols, drip tubing areas or boundaries, and control valves on your design. If you have not done so or do not know how to do so, please watch the zoning command tutorial video in the link below. To begin, open the zoning command either from the main menu or by clicking the toolbar icon. Click the map tab to view the current zones and their color assignments. Each zone on your drawing will be listed here. The colors are automatically created for the first 10 zones, based on the colors that you have set in the Irrigation Options tab under the AutoZone Colors header. You can view these colors by going to Tools, Options, and choosing the Irrigation tab from the main menu. To assign a color to a zone, click on the Color button. Click on a predefined color of your choice. Click somewhere inside the color box, or move the slider bar to select the color assignment. You may also enter the red, green, and blue values in the associated text boxes. Once you have determined the color, click on the OK button to accept the color assignment. If your drawing has more than 10 zones, you'll need to edit the color assignment for each zone after 10 as the colors are set to repeat. Click the checkbox next to the zone numbers you wish to create a map for, or click the checkbox marked Check All Zones to create a map for each zone on the drawing. Click the Show Map button to see a preview of your zone map. Each zone will be highlighted with its specific color, and you can see on the map where zones overlap. You can adjust the opacity of the map by moving the map opacity bar, by clicking the up or down arrows in the number box, or by typing in a number and pressing the Show Map button again to view the changes. To print the map, leave the zoning command open and go to File, Print. If you close the zoning command before printing, the colored map will not print.